These elementary age children are trainable mentally retarded. They are in their own classroom being taught by a special ed teacher. But the classroom is in a regular school and they don't stay in this room all day. For today, mainstreaming is the rule, allowing the special youngsters, whenever possible, to participate in activities with normal ones. Music class, for instance, lunch, assemblies, and phys ed. Special education teacher Lou Smith says it costs more, but it's worth it. I think they should be exposed to being with other children, and that way they can uh, see how a normal child does things much, much like a, a special child does. There's really no difference. A special child just may be a little bit slower, but they learn from the normal child, and the normal child learns from the special child. Providing a full education for handicapped children is not easy or cheap, but it's what the federal government requires. Now, however, the Reagan administration is proposing some new rules which will relieve the schools of some of their responsibilities. The rules fill 24 pages in the Federal Register and cover such topics as disciplinary and evaluation procedures, as well as services school systems must provide. Opponents say they will significantly weaken the rights of the nation's 4 million children with learning problems or mental or physical handicaps. Leiden Harrell of the local advocacy group Mobility on Wheels says the new rules run counter to previous Reagan statements. He, would. he uh, stated in his campaign pledge in 1980 that the public law 94-142, which was passed in 1978, is the best thing that's ever been adopted for the hand, uh, education of the handicapped children. And this would kind of renege on that? It certainly would. It would be going exactly opposite to what he said he was going to do. But some experts say the new rules have little chance of adoption, that Congress has shown no inclination to change the way handicapped children are educated. But their parents certainly won't rest until the rules are withdrawn. In Virginia Beach, Joel Rubin, The Daily News.